Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, and I want to do for today a video about how to connect multiple external microphones to your Canon Vixia HF R800 camcorder. Now the Canon Vixia HF R800 does have external mic input, and that allows us to connect external uh, microphones, which is super useful because not a lot of camcorders at its price point even have that feature. However, the external microphone uh, jack is unpowered, so therefore you can't you have to use a certain type of microphone. That means that the microphone has to supply its own power. That can either be a battery microphone like the shotgun microphone. It has a little uh, AAA battery there and therefore this provides the power that makes this microphone work. Um, a lot of microphones expect power from the camcorder, either phantom power at 48 volts or plug-in power, which is a lower DC uh, current. Those will not work out of the box but there is a workaround um, and that's a, that is actually using one of these mixers um, a certain type of mixer the other type of uh, microphone you might uh, see or attach is one that will have uh, be charged these days via uh, you know usb like the comic track shot so that will work too the microphone just has to be powered now with one microphone input, you can only get one microphone unless you use a mixer. There's two types of mixers, camcorder mixers that you'll see on the market. One of them is an unpowered or passive mixer. This doesn't actually have any electrical circuitry within it. What it does instead is it'll uh, take in 3.5 millimeter inputs and it will uh, mix it down or preserve them as separate tracks. Now. That's why there is a mono stereo switch. So if you have the switch to stereo, you've got your two microphones and it'll keep each input on a different track of the stereo track it outputs. And that'll allow you to change levels in post-production, which is super useful. And it's got two gain trims on the front so you can adjust the levels for each microphone. So uh, what I'm gonna do for, I'm just gonna build out the setup quickly. I've got an L bracket um, here. I've got my Canon Vixia HF R800 on an L bracket. Now I also did another video showing how to connect an adhesive cold shoe and that's another approach that you can take. Um, I'm going to put the passive mixer on the L bracket just today. It's a little bit more solid. So this is a passive mixer. It's again pretty, it's not so expensive, but if you want to use an active one, this is why I mentioned the uh, microphone problem with the Vixia because this is actually a workaround. What you could do is if you have an active mixer and Saramonic make one called a smart rig, um, that has uh, XLR and it's got a battery. So that will actually provide, there's a little phantom power switch on that uh, product and that will actually power a microphone. So with, once you've got an active or powered mixer, camcorder mixer, you could actually just use that for one microphone. You don't actually need to use it as a mixer and that would allow you to use absolutely any microphone with the Vixia HF R800. So just a tip. Uh, but I'm actually going to be doing real mixing today. So firstly, the second tip is um, you want to have the gain trim. So this is my rig. I've got my lens here, monitor screen here. So therefore, I want to have my gain trims accessible in a way that I can touch them. So that's why I'm going to put it this way. So a little bit tricky to do this with one hand. I'm just going to pop down the uh, or pop up the lens cover here. That's stable enough, um, as best as I can do it for this demo. So I've got the output from the passive mixer. I'm just gonna run it around the back and into the microphone input on the Vixia. So here's what that looks like from the side. So it's running into the microphone jack now. Now, the this passive mixer, which is the Andour uh, WSV2, actually handily has three different cold shoes kind of built into it. So. Just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to firstly attach a shotgun microphone, a really basic one uh, like this. I'm gonna run it around the side and put it actually mounted on the passive mixer. Again, I could get these a lot more secure. I'm just doing a uh, minimal viable product for the video and I'm putting it into the left channel. So now I've got one microphone going into the passive mixer. I'm going to be using just for demo again, but here would be a more logical setup. You could have this, so this is your shotgun microphone and that's going into left, therefore I adjust it with the left channel here. A more logical setup would be to have, let's say, a shotgun microphone 
recording outwards and let's say you wanted to uh, rig up an interview subject with a lavalier microphone alternatively you could have a shotgun microphone facing back and you could have the lavalier the purpose of that setup would be that if i rotated this shotgun microphone 180 it would be recording me and picking up audio from me the interviewer and let's say another shotgun would be picking up audio from the interview subject or that could be a wireless lav receiver is the other example i gave so those are real life instances where this kind of two uh, microphone recording into the camcorder uh, would make sense and all you have to do to adjust the proportion of audio is play around whoops with the uh, gain tab so i'm just going to connect a second microphone here i'm going to connect the comic attract shot slide it into the cold shoe here and i'm going to connect that to i'm not even going to tighten it i'm just going to slide and hope it stays there we go so now it's connected so i have microphone one facing outwards microphone two facing back and i'm going to actually show you guys something cool despite the fact that the passive mixer is unpowered it does carry electricity through so once your once your microphones work or can be powered they're going to work with the vixia so I'm just going to show you guys right now there's no audio level you can see the levels are uh, zero in fact if i flip this around it'll be better so no levels are being picked up because both microphones are turned off but neither microphone is connected directly they're both running through the mixer watch what happens when i turn on the shotgun microphone here turn on the switch and now uh one sec now we should be getting levels through the mixer and if i turn it up we can see those levels are getting higher and watch what happens if i just turn down the level on the mixer to zero we're getting no levels again into the camcorder and now i'm playing with the gain tab and the levels are picking up again and uh, i can turn on so this way i can adjust both microphones using these tabs and i've got two microphones connected so that's a way to get your two microphones connected to the Canon Vixia HF R800 camcorder. I hope this video was helpful and if you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you for watching.